If you want to level quickly as a necromancer, I got you. In the description below will be a build guide. However, there's extremely useful information in this video that I, I recommend you stay and watch. So let's get into it. Blood Surge is the strongest leveling build in the game, hands down. Up until around an awkward point from transitioning from World Tier 3 to World Tier 4, when you're trying to get your full set of ancestral gear, you'll decimate everything on screen in one press of a button and never go below 80% health at the same time, so it's very hardcore friendly. I was one of the only people to play this build to level 100 in Season 1, so I can tell you with a certainty everything that I'm about to detail below. It also happened to be insanely fast if you've seen my video about my journey to level 100, but let's start at its early game. You'll see as soon as you get Blood Surge up to level 5 and get its two perks behind it, the game is trivialized from that point onward. And then it's even more trivialized once you get the only aspect you need from Horfrost Demise that causes is the Blood Nova to activate in additional time. The mechanics of Blood Surge are very interesting. There are a few parts of the skills we'll go over now as the playstyle for the build is very self-explanatory. So we'll focus on how it works and why it's so strong. The skill has two mechanical parts to it. The Blood Siphon, which targets every enemy within about 85% of the screen in a circle around you. And the Blood Nova, which hits everything within about 30% of the screen in a circle around you. The aspect for Blood Nova causes the Nova portion of the skill to activate an additional time with less damage. So that's three instances of damage. This is important for later. But that less damage from the aspect that you read on the aspect description applies only to the skill's damage specifically and not the overpower portion of the damage. So whenever you overpower, its damage is added on after the initial hit is calculated. It's weird. So when the siphon part of the skill hits for 50 damage normally, it will actually hit for 50 damage plus your overpower total, which is your current health and your fortify the sum of those two numbers. The first Nova will hit for 100 damage, let's say, plus your overpower number. And the second Nova will hit for 40 damage plus your overpower number again. So as long as you stack overpower and base health and fortify generation and overpower damage, and all that's very straightforward, you'll be hitting overpower a ton of times. So with one activation of the skill, you hit enemies for three instances of overpower rather than one, which is the usual case for, for most other classes. Now on to reason two why Blood Surge Overpower is so much stronger than every other overpower skill in the game. The perk that causes Blood Surge to guarantee an overpower every six activations makes it so that overpower in this case has a multiplicative effect with attack speed. Okay, because, well, if you can activate the skill six times in two seconds as opposed to four seconds, that's twice as much damage effectively. Now, hold on, isn't that broken? Yes, <laughs> it is. No other overpower skill in the game scales like that. And the last piece of the puzzle is your resource generation because casting quickly consumes a lot of resource, but then all you need is the Mother's Embrace Ring and to stack willpower because it gives you overpower damage, which is great, healing received, which helps keep your HP and consequently your force very high and lastly resource generation willpower is the godly stat for this build altogether you'll get to a point where you look like this you can check out the exact gear of my level 100 version of the build on d4 armory which will be also linked in the description below something that's interesting to note about this build is that the highest damage possible with it using a shield gives you as much damage as possible as long as the shield has health once you get to level 100 this character has about 25k health so couple that with 25k fortify gives you 50,000 base damage hitting three times so 150,000 base damage every time that an overpower proc procs on blood surge it's 150,000 base damage and with all the multiplicatives and additive sources of overpower damage in the game you notice right away that it's yeah i'm just hitting i'm just hitting for so much damage the entire screen all the time it's ridiculous I, I just felt so strong, especially after I got Mother's Embrace. It was a crazy, it was crazy. I will warn you all that bosses are the build's weak spot as far as Season 1 is concerned, but with more sources of guaranteed overpower coming into Season 2 with that first vampiric power that was revealed and possibly other unannounced synergies, this will undoubtedly sure up its weaknesses and Blood Surge will reign supreme again, I believe. I highly recommend you watch the video called You're Better Than You Think You Are 
on my channel. I'll probably put something up here as there are more insights into the build and the skill in that video that I didn't go over here because they weren't necessary to fundamentally understanding how the build plays. Hope this all helps make Necromancer feel better, even with the summoner archetype being kind of meh and with the removal of the malignant hearts. Popping up now should be a couple other videos you might find helpful or relevant. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I'm an expert in this build specifically, so anything you want to know, I can tell you. Uh, TY, stay safe.